My hair also looks so much stupider with yeah. headphones on. Yeah. I would love it if we didn't actually have to wear visible headphones. But then we couldn't... Dog. Oh, no, I, said, dog. Dog. I said visible headphones. Yeah. Like, if I can hook up my AirPods, dog. I'll do that. Dog. 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 That's that really, so chaotic. That's really important to the vibes of the show. No, I... I well... Oh, she! Oh my God! Hello, non-binary individuals only. You guys, how did I not do this earlier? This is so much, so much better. Now I don't have like the whole mic arm in my face. Yeah, me either. That's actually a gr brilliant idea. Are, huh. you, are you being facetious? No, this is so much better. Interesting. Hello, folks. <laughs> Welcome back to the judgiest place. Judge he. Judge he piss. How have we not done that before? Hey, it's time men get a little judged. <laughs> I'm sitting my white ass down and listening. Uh, I'm Josh. I'm Rick. And I'm Christian. And we are the, the one. Judges. The, only, the judges. The Back. Judges. Do you think that I, I look like that one dude on TikTok who splits wood because I'm wearing overalls? No. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, of course you do. You little scoundrel. He's insanely famous. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure you're watching him. Why the hell are you getting his videos? Actually, I very rarely get them. And when I do, I send them to Courtney. Hmm. Ah, that makes sense. Do you, you know think there's a spinoff version of a woman? Yes, I do. And I, okay. I see her more than I see him. Uh, I don't think she does it as good. Why? Because she's a woman? She no, uses I just... a sword a lot. And it's. I get that it's like part of her gimmick, but it cannot be better than an axe. I just think the other guy is a much natural showman. You know what I mean? Like, he owns the camera a lot better. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Look at I, you and your gray on gray. Whoa. Why are we do attacking I his character now? Of that one person on TikTok that wears gray on gray? I don't know who that is. Oh, you, of course you don't. Hmm. Do you know there's actually a spinoff account of a woman <laughs> that wears gray on gray? Really? Yeah, actually, I get her videos a lot more. Whatever. Anywho, we don't just riff on this podcast. Sometimes we open mail? Question mark? Yeah, we got one Sometimes piece of mail rip. here. This is from Riley. Holy shit, are you opening it? And it's addressed to Era, uh, Erica Kleckner. So it's technically a federal offense if I open this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> Can we talk about how bullshit of a, Like, I still get mail from the person who owned the house before me. She yeah. So do we. She died multiple years ago. And I still get mail. Like, I'm opening that shit. I'm seeing what's in there. Should I not what admit this something? on a podcast? <laughs> Am I going to get CIA'd? <laughs> CIA'd. That's like, funny. <laughs> say, if opening up dead ladies mail from like, it'll be like from like, hey, you donated once to this uh, Native yeah. American thing. So we oh, send you like. They were a good person. They Like, it's like racist. Like, oh, they were. Here, oh. Here's like a shitty pen with like a dream catcher on it. And it's like, mm. well, what is this? Okay. What is this? I got to open it. I you gotta, gotta see. You do have there. to open it. Did you get to keep the pen? <laughs> I always just throw them away. It's the worst quality pen you've ever seen. Huh. Think about the quality of products a company would be sending out uh, th four years post mortem to somebody who donated money once. <laughs> you don't know how often she donated. That's fair, but she hasn't done it in four years at least. Well, they're really trying to get her back. Maybe they set up a fund. Ooh. Uh, this says fun. right at the top, which we love. You can use my name. Thank God I already said it. Hi, judges. Oh, my God. <laughs> my boyfriend. That looks like bay friend in it. It took me a second. Same thing. My boyfriend and I have been listening to you for the past two years and have listened to every single episode. You got me through a 22-hour car ride from Oklahoma to Maryland. My car rides for the last two years every Monday have featured y'all. I am graduating in December with a degree in hospitality and tourism management from OSU. Uh, I'm assuming Oklahoma that's Oklahoma State. 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 Yeah. I name love y'all. Oh, it's like nutty. It's Bucky. Is that his name? He's a nut. He's a giant nut. That's... Are you sure you're not confusing that with Iowa State? Hmm. Yeah. The Buckeyes? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Baker Mayfield's my favorite NFL player. Okay. Mine too, until he got traded. I think he was on the Oklahoma State team. Okay, anywho. I can't remember who's Oklahoma State or Ohio State. Can you call yourself a football fan? I don't watch college football, folks. 
I love y'all so, 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 so much. Also, please say Andrew is so stinky. The beavers? Is OSU the beavers? Andrew is so stinky. Andrew, you're so stinky. Love your biggest and pissiest baby, Riley. <laughs> Oklahoma State Cowboys. P.S. Erica is my fave. Uh, fuck. <laughs> their mascot is Pistol Pete. That's a fun mascot. Congratulations on your graduation. Uh, that's a terrifying mascot. <laughs> that reminds me. Are they like the Cowboys or something? That's yeah. given Shia LaBeouf real cannibal. How come I Google OSU mascot and the second result is the is Brutus Buckeye from Ohio State? What's hmm. up with that? Anywho, we don't just open up listeners to my mail. We open up Christian's birthday presents from Is this your me. birthday episode? Uh, no, we kind of... Last week would have been closest. Oh, Oops. shit. So it's about... A His week, birthday's on a Monday. About eight days ago. Huh? His birthday's on a Monday. It's on a Sunday. It's on a no, Monday. No, it's not. It's on a Monday. You guys are fucking with me. February 19th is on a Monday. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure. I was just checking you. I was chump checking I you. I thought it was on Sunday. But no, uh, oh. this ep- episode is not... An LED neon night light. So I told him I gave him a task. Your task <laughs> is, is to hang this up in his little alleged studio to do alleged things. The rise and grind. <laughs> it's a rise and grind LED neon light from Walmart. It, they sell this at Walmart? The they rise did. and grind? You know that section of Walmart where it's all way cheap, underproduced okay. bullshit? The That's clearance right, section? It's like It's not clearance, but it's like right when you walk in. By oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. like um, pharmacy section, that's like the five dollar. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we found that. What a good find! Yeah, I've got nails enough to open it, but fuck. Do you need to open it? I mean, we get I... the idea, right? No, we don't get the idea. So I gave you a task, which was this, which is hang it up, which means it'll never get hung up. Okay. And two, I gave you something that angers you to your core. Oh my god! It's a deodorant. Dr. Sasquatch, odor, squatch, and deodorant. I got you the best smelling one. It still smells like dog shit. You have to take the cap off to smell it, really. That You're does just smell smelling like... Josh's armpits? There was one called Pine Tar that was, I thought, better. I can't but smell it, you guys. My nose like is it. too stuffed. But go ahead and take a, take a little peek at how expensive that one small stick of deodorant was. That's a pretty big stick of deodorant. But wait till you hear... Thirteen dollars, yeah, for a normal stick of deodorant. Thirteen dollars, and it smells bad. So you're gonna take it back? I there is give, a gift receipt, and give Josh his thirteen dollars back. <laughs> <laughs> he just bought it for the. What bit. if I try it? What? Here's the problem. Yeah, a lot of natural deodorants, not great. Yeah, well, they don't cut. They don't cut the mustard for my sweat and stank. Yeah, you do still normally. <laughs> Smell like mustard after you use them. They're, that's how you know, folks. We will never be sponsored by Doctor Squatch. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are Christian's mortal enemy. I do fucking hate their. Ed. This is so small. This <laughs> it looks ginormous on the box. Dare I say coquettish? Look how big it is in comparison. <laughs> in comparison to this lady. <laughs> all about perspective baby uh, do we have a ellis uh, <laughs> what do they have it four feet fucking closer to the camera than the than the person is yeah we can plug it in real quick oh my god it's just usb powered oh dude hell yeah <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah rise and grind folks do we hang it in here i guess we could rise and grind in here it would be- did it come with hardware it didn't come with hardware <laughs> So how are you supposed to hang it? <laughs> you figure it out. God, this thing sucks. This was ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel bad when you tell me the price of <laughs> your birthday gifts. Uh, well, the birthday gift that it's gonna take so much mental effort. I will have it hung for at least one stream. Um, I just want to let everybody know those aren't his actual birthday <gasps> present. He will be getting a real one. And he knows what it is. This is huge for me. I I know what it is, Harry. Gundam. Yeah. Legos. Gundam. Combine them. I mean, it's the same thing, right? Oh. I'm just kidding, everyone. I know they're not the same thing. Oh I was just God. trying to get a rise out of them. <laughs> you got a rise out of me. I'm still stuffy. Well, why? I think it's the fucking weather. This global fucking warming is so stupid. 
Yeah. It shouldn't be 60 degrees in February. Because we've got seasonal allergies. Yeah. What did you find out that was super depressing, Erica? Oh, so there's these methane like deposits in the Earth's crust that, because of global warming, are yeah like being exposed. They're causing massive fucking sinkholes, and it's just releasing like an insane amount of methane into the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. And that has not been in our predictions for global warming. Sure. So it's throwing everything off. And it's making it better. It's making it way worse. Well, I'm on the side of global warming. I'm I'm mm. siding oh, with you're, Earth. You're rooting it on, like yeah. fuck yeah, warm this shit up. <laughs> yeah, got Wipe it. Us. I Wipe think us off. humans are a scourge that need to be erased. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So it's good. The <laughs> Earth's getting a fever, and it's you know, yeah, it would be part it of would be great process. if that was like future generation problems instead of our problem. Yeah, <laughs> like I well, just want a good way, life for me and my child. Problems too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. If, like not, I don't wouldn't have wanted to be born in like the 1960s, but like if we could shift back 40 years, but also keep current life. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, not have any of the responsibility yeah, of knowing the world's dying. Yeah, we could shuck it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be kind of rad yeah. to not just wake up and we could like ruin the global economy Ooh, forever. That would be awesome for us. Yeah, that would act. No, we we should do this. We should invent this somehow. Yeah, okay. time travel. Well, no, because we I don't want to be in the 60s. What if we just convinced everybody that if you give us money, it'll trickle its way down to yeah, you lessers? for sure. This makes sense to me. Oh, it sounds like a good Molly. idea. Chaotic episode. What's the matter, baby? Chaotic start. Let's get into it, though. That's right, folks. We don't just doom talk on this podcast. We also podcast on this podcast. Well, that it does this. <laughs> Going online and finding silly little stories, and sometimes we get emails into our Reddit into our Gmail account that is Reddit stories that people have sent in. This one was sent in from Nadia. My name is Nadia. Hello, hello. I've been listening for a long time and love the pod. I basically listened to it nonstop. I made it to the top two percent of Spotify listeners, and that's after switching to Apple Podcasts towards the end of twenty twenty three. Flex. I think Flex. I listened for about fifteen thousand minutes. Yeah, get those numbers up. Anyway, I was scrolling Reddit, and I would love to hear y'all's reaction to the story, along with the crazy twist comments from OP's sister. Thanks for all the laughs. Sister comes in. Ooh. P.S. Wrote this email while listening to the pod. LOL. Can never listen too much. That's right. Oh, wait. Sorry, I read the wrong email first. This is from Sarah. Hi, judges. What the fuck? I huh? found your podcast in 2023 and got an embarrassing high ranked of your listeners in my Spotify wrapped. Top 0.5% or something crazy, which is ridiculous considering I switched to a different podcast app to listen once I became a patron. What can I say? You hooked me. Anywho, came across this obviously one sided Am I the Asshole post today, and the sister chimed in on the comment section. Wild. Hope you enjoy, Sarah. Are we being AI botted? Two people sent in effectively the same message with the same story. <laughs> That's wild. So thank you, Nadia and Sarah. Wait, no, I was what? very confused as to what was happening. But yeah, they huh? both were like, "I'm a top percentage listener," but I switched at the end of the year, and now here's this story. This doesn't feel like it can be real. Yeah, am I? All right, we're just gonna keep going along. I'm a little, I'm a little concerned that I'm in a simulation right now. You are. Yeah. Okay. I'm freaking out a bit. <laughs> Read the story. Maybe it'll calm me down. This is from r slash A-I-T-A-H. Do we need to come up with a word, like a a way to pronounce that that's different instead of just, having to spell it? Let's just call it. it the initialism. Ada? How about Ada? Ada. R slash Ada? I think we said this because I said I'm an Ada hater. No, I don't think we said that. But I feel like it wouldn't be you. A. It would be like Ida hater. Ida. And then Christian would say Idaho. Yeah. Right. It because a- it's A-I. So I feel like that's I- Interesting, yeah. Instead of A. But if you say Aiden, that's where I'm thinking, like A-I-D-E-N. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't be Aiden. Huh? I'm, I'm okay with either. Either, really. Boo. Am I the asshole for blowing up at my sister after she said my miscarriage was karma? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. A little bit of trigger warning for miscarriages here. I'm 31 and Emma is 29. A few months ago, I suffered a traumatic miscarriage. It's been one of the most difficult moments of my life, but I'm getting through it slowly. Me and my sister Emma's relationship sort of fell apart a few years ago after an incident. We still talk, but it's rare, and she still acts snarky towards me, but I'm not snarky towards her at all. Mm. My parents have tried to talk to her, but she doesn't want to listen to it. 
She didn't reach out to me at all after hearing news of my miscarriage, which really hurt me. We had family dinner recently. Emma was there, and I was sort of saying to my mom that even my friend sent a card or checked in with me to see how I was doing, but not a word from Emma. Well, if you guys had a falling out, then... Also, Emma's there. Yeah. She's saying this in front of Emma. <laughs> Which is insane. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely fighting words. Emma got a bit defensive after hearing that, but I thought it was the end of that. Fast forward a couple weeks, I get a text from Emma saying she sent a card for me. I get the card and inside she wrote, Karma is your boyfriend. Stings, right? Which is a Taylor reference, Taylor Swift's reference. Parentheses, I'm a big Taylor Swift fan, so it's referencing her song, Karma. I was shocked. Emma could be so outwardly cruel. We had a big fight over the phone, and I said she needs to get over shit and realize the world doesn't revolve around her. It's all blown up a bit now. My husband and parents are thankfully being supportive of me and telling Emma to apologize, but my youngest sister is on Emma's side. Am I the asshole here? There's gotta be. I need to know what the incident was. The fact that the youngest sister is on Emma's side, it's like there's gotta be. There's definitely. I need to know what that incident was because. That, first of all, that's juicy gossip in itself. Yeah. But also, I mean, that is a real shit thing to say to somebody. Yes. Well, but and I, it could w- be justified. When I first read the story, I was like, you, you see the, the incident not mentioned. You're like, what are you trying to hide? That's but, what I'm but saying. You're on the side of the person who is like, yeah, my sister was being a fucking piece of shit to me when yeah. I had a miscarriage. Right. But the line of her saying like. In front of her sister being like, yeah, and Emma didn't write me anything. Is like, oh, you seem like... You're confrontational. You seem like you're a bad person. Yeah. yeah. So let's... So people in the comments were like, I need more info. I need if What did, what happened? So the, the sister comes in. In the comment says, section? Hi. I scroll on this sub sometimes and just came across this post. The OP in this is my sister. I'm Emma. And it seems Sister Dearest isn't putting the whole info in here about why we don't have a good relationship. So let me tell you. Yes! Her. My fiancé died, along with my sister-in-law and her boyfriend in a car wreck. Just a few weeks before his death, I'd found out I was pregnant. My sister chose not to come to the funeral because she went to a concert with her friends. (gasps) What the fuck? She said she couldn't not go. And when I called her out, she called me an attention seeker and said I was jealous of her and I was just pretending to be pregnant to get even more attention. What? (laughs) Oh my god. I was a pregnant 24-year-old who just lost their partner and all I wanted was a big sister to be with me. After she came back from this trip, we didn't talk for a while, but she gave a half-assed apology about how she didn't know better. Didn't know better? Come on. I didn't give a fuck. I know where she stood when she said all those things to me and ditched me on the worst day of my life. So I also told her where I stood, which is I don't accept her apology. Yeah. We have very limited contact now outside of family dinners and things like this. I didn't attend her wedding and I didn't invite her to my kids' events or anything like that. I did hear about the miscarriage, which is sad, but I don't have any feelings outside of that. I didn't want to contact her, so I didn't. At my parents' house, she was complaining to my mom about how I didn't acknowledge her during this time, so I sent the card that my behavior towards her is karma for her behavior towards me. I don't mind whether people agree with what I did or not. I don't regret it, but I wanted to give the context. That context is absolutely needed. And then I saw other uh, comments in the thing even further giving information on exactly what because she the sister here that wrote in was even being in my opinion after reading this other information a little like um generous to the to the original poster being like no she went on a trip and you're like okay well how long is a trip right so they found out there's so much juicy tea to the story so you think trip and you're like you know maybe it was an expensive thing who knows right you can't cancel it her original post, uh, this this comment, this commenter says, I remember reading her original post when it happened. Emma's partner and his sister were suddenly killed and OP blew off being there to support her to go on a road trip to see Taylor Swift. I knew it was for Taylor Swift. I knew, yeah. So it was the Eras tour, presumably. And then someone else responded and said, it wasn't even a road trip. The stadium was 40 minutes away from where they live. <laughs> I don't know if they're American, but in America, that's not a road trip. That's just the other side of the city you already live in. Yeah. The uh, worst part is that she had plenty of time to attend both the funeral and the concert without missing any of either. But no. she absolutely had to get to the concert two hours early, and she had like a special outfit that she was wearing, and she had to make sure she had enough time to get ready. That's so insane. <laughs> yeah. To get that, <laughs> to get those details, that, she had plenty of time to do both, and she's like, "Well, I just don't want to be in the wrong headspace for Taylor." Yeah. 
now that is horrific and now it's now it's like i mean i get the fucking like really yeah. really rude taylor swift reference here's the thing we're not taking account she had enough time to go to the funeral and the taylor swift concert but not enough time to make the friendship bracelet yeah, so that's like you have to blow one of them off right you know right 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 is that something that people do at her concerts is make friendship bracelets? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, Erica, you can get us in trouble. You again. make you make bracelets with like references to old Taylor projects. Like it'll just be like uh like it might say like uh K A K I uh BF, my like boy. Karma is my boyfriend. Or like, like it'll just be initials of a reference to something. Huh. Or it'll say like and then when you're at the concert, you'll have like fourteen of them. And, and then you, you just go and you see other people and you just train them around and then you just collect bracelets. Oh, it's like a fun little thing. That's fun. Yeah. Like it's kind of fun, but yeah, no, it's fine. in typical Taylor Stan <laughs> fashion, they're very serious about it. And yeah. it's kind of loses its magic. Yeah. Anywho, I feel like it's actually really cool. So sorry. I just think it's really cool community building within the Taylor Swift fan base. Should we start doing it at Judgy Meetups? Yeah. <laughs> the once uh what's the year what's the word for 10 years a decade, decade? what's once stuck annually <laughs> that's not a word anywho folks this is another reddit story sent in from a listener so they say hi please don't use my name which okay. to me is strange i you're agree. sending in a reddit story that's like not yours i agree with this statement where it's like it's yeah, it's like the story's not about you. You're like ashamed for us even. Unless it secretly is. Ooh. Love you guys. Y'all get me through the Monday morning scaries while I get ready for work. I thought the story was so funny. Now, ah, God damn it. Sorry, I read the wrong email. This was sent in. <clears throat> that That's a story. I was going to read it last night. It's, am I the butt face for trying to make sure a girl was safe? We'll go ah. with this other one. This is from Greer. Okay. Hello, judges. They've submitted before. And other guests, if they're in attendance. You can read my name. I'm Greer, and I've been listening for about a year now, and I'm loving every minute of it. I love you all, but I especially love Rick, as I am a useless little lesbian. Here's a story about a creepy middle-aged dude I hope you all detest, especially Ricky. Also, I believe it's a new subreddit. If I'm wrong, though, I didn't do none. Love you. <laughs> am I the butthole for trying to make sure a girl was safe? That's right, am folks. Am I the butthole? Another two, Peter, where somebody sent in... Back to back in our emails, the Come same freaking story. Very similar message. How about that? that I don't fun? like this. No, I don't. I've, I'm having a crisis from this, Josh. I feel like we're just getting bots sending us stories. What now. do you mean? They they mentioned that she's a lesbian, so like they can't be a bot. I get that, but like, it was the same email. Yeah, twice now. So thank you. It's gonna be crazy when he hits you with a third one. No, you Mr. Never President, do that. there's a third email. Uh, so thank you, Greer and Unnamed. This is from Am I the Butthole? Whoop. Yep. Am I the butthole for trying to make sure a girl was safe? You might not be the butthole, but you might be a butthead. Oh, God, his ass. We'll see. Or his head. Maybe. Uh, I, 37 male, have a chronic pain condition, so I'm at my local pharmacy pretty often, about twice a month. There's a technician there, uh, Sadie, 15, <clears throat> Sadie, female 18, who's always been the absolute sweetest. If I'm being 100% honest, chatting with her helps with my pain almost as much as the meds do. Oh, how, no. did, how old did we say this guy was? 37. No. I've started popping in when I know she'll be there. Ew. Sadie and I have built kind of a rapport. So the other day I noticed she was acting kind of off and I asked her about it. After a bit of back and forth, she admitted she and her boyfriend were having an argument. I asked if there was anything she needed, but she brushed it off and said he was on his way to talk to her and that she was just a little nervous. Like I said, Sadie is the sweetest and I didn't want to see anything bad happen to her. So I kind of hung around the pharmacy for the next hour or so. Right before they closed, I saw him, dressed in grimy clothes and messed hair and all around looking disheveled. Oh. Well, yeah, he's in a fight with his girlfriend. He's probably <laughs> upset. This heightened my sense of danger and trailed him into the pharmacy. My and sense of danger. My <laughs> spidey senses are going off looking at this 18-year-old boy. And I stood a couple aisles over so I could hear them talk. I expected Sadie to talk over the counter to him, and I figured I wouldn't be visible. But she came out the back area and basically ran right into me. 
She asked what I was doing there and acted surprised. I said, uh, I just realized I need to come back and pick something up. Her snotty boyfriend said he saw me standing outside and that I only came in when he came in. I didn't think he had noticed, but I guess he did. I gave this him a bit of... This observant. <laughs> Turns out the disheveled hair didn't fuck with his vision too much. <laughs> I gave him a bit of a stare down before Sadie basically pulled him away and they left. God. Staring down at teenager. <laughs> this guy was 19 when she was born, right? This yeah. is gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a weirdo. He, when she was when they were born, he was he was older than they are now. Yeah. Yeah. You're a weirdo. Fast forward to today. I went into the pharmacy to get my meds and lo and behold, when I went to the counter, Sadie was there. But she just acted busy with other work and didn't talk to me. And then the pharmacist came over and rang me up instead. After the transaction, he told me he would be transferring my prescription to a different store and that in the future, he and his staff didn't feel comfortable serving me anymore. This came as a shock to me as I'm basically a regular and I'm on great terms with all of the staff. I half jokingly called out to Sadie and asked if she could believe this, but she completely ignored me. Hey, Sadie, can you believe this guy? What were <laughs> trying to kick me out, Sadie? Come on, tell him. I felt like a pariah, and I felt like I did something wrong. You did. So after the pharmacy closed for lunch, I found Sadie and asked if there was something going on. Ah! I thought that was wrong. No, what? this must be what the hell. <laughs> this must be what the hell. Erica, I can't believe you would say that. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I can't believe you condone this, Erica. Oh, my God. So after the pharmacy closed for lunch, I found blah, blah. She saw me, she made a face, and she sped off. I followed her and asked again. <laughs> and she said she didn't want to talk to me and that I should just leave. I asked if it was about the other day and she snapped yes and said I was a creep for staying yeah. and I was a creep again for staying today too. Correct. I will admit that this set me off a little. I hate being called a creep. I told her that it came oh, from wanting no. her to be safe oh, no. and that she should be grateful. But what if her boyfriend had flown off the handle or gotten unruly? She's like five foot one so I know that that was on her mind. She basically ignored this and said she had to go. She went into the employee room and didn't come back out. I don't know what to do. I don't want to be branded as some kind of stalker, but I don't feel like I was in the wrong for making sure she was safe the other day. Am I the butthole here? Dude, yeah. what a psycho. You should go to jail. The fact that he's like, I don't like being called a creep. Means how it's <laughs> definitely happened before. Yeah. How many times are you getting called a creep to be like, that one actually hurts my feelings? <laughs> I don't. I have never been called a creep. I don't think the first creep getting dropped on me was like, no. Well, you, you never heard me call you a creep. Oh no. Yeah. I'm a creep. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That means every time we say creep, I have to put the. Dinner. Uh, That's very funny. Uh, yeah. What an insane. This harkens me back to. You remember that story of harkens the, of the guy who I love Dune. <laughs> Of that guy who was like in a fight with his wife or something because he would go out in the middle of the night and drive yes. like oh and like scared teenagers for, home. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. And oh. it's like you are thinking that you're doing a good thing here. I don't think he's trying to be like super creepy. He's just fucked up in his head and thinks he's doing something good when he's being a fucking creep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that's weird, dude. You're yeah. 38. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, he could be her dad like it, it's such a creep oh dude and it's i feel like i could imagine this happening as of a, a former cvs employee i feel like this is yeah. could have happened at well once moment. a cvs employee always a cvs that's employee, true really it's a badge I of do, honor yeah i just want you guys to know i care and value your guys' services all right they make you like a cvs merit badge sash out of the receipts mm -hmm. fucking nerd <laughs> what does cvs stand for christian very stupid <laughs> <laughs> we're ending the episode Cons oh, that it's, was so funny was it consumer value services or something like something that something like that yeah he puts on the shade so you can't see him cry <laughs> <laughs> we're ending the freaking episode <laughs> christian very silly is what it actually stands yeah, for yeah that sounds better i keep it up and i might take these bad boys off <laughs> It's uh, so fucking here? funny. <laughs> All right. Um, let's read a really quick short one. How about that? Hey, I've been <laughs> I've been dying to get a short, quick one. We just had one the other day. Story a medium I mean. length quick one. We literally we literally just read short stories last night. 
Oh, yes. That's adorable. What kind? What do you mean? And what were they about? Well, there was Where the Wild Things Are. There's Oh, like Children's Lama, Lama, Red Pajama. Did you rap? Did you freestyle rap? Lama Lama, Lama Red no. Pajama? No. No, but I do get like really dramatic with it. And when yeah. he goes weeping and wailing for his mama, I do that whole thing, but like really loud. And Olsen doesn't like it. He gets scared and it's kind of funny. You should show him the designer cover of Lama Lama Red Pajama. He might go nuts for it. <laughs> and then he's going to want it. And I, I'm, I can't afford that. <laughs> nice very good let's go to an ad break that way we can't afford it how about that <laughs> that's actually a great idea and welcome back on this side of the podcast christian let me think about it let me think about it let um can you just push the button, please? I cannot wait for Christian to... Tell me about that circle jerk. There you it nailed is. It. It's so much easier with the old one. No. Yeah, it is easier with the old... <laughs> he, didn't even, he didn't even goof up this time. Yeah, it took us 18 I, tries. I, I, I gave him time to think about it. Yeah. Yep. I, you're welcome. Christian, Can I can't... See, no, I look dumb because I was like, mm, let me think about it. And I couldn't think of anything. So now I look dumb, but you look good. You're I mean, welcome. Could we even say what the, the updated one actually says? Because I... Only remember. The... Tell me about that circle. Jerk. I think it's. Oh fuck! Me... That's not the new one. No, it's the old one. The new one is. Let me tell you about the circle, George. Well, f- shit. Here I now I look extra dumb. Well, hey, Whoops. you're about to look. Don't even worry, dumber. because for this week's circle, George, we're doing Gen Z and Gen Alpha slang. Oh fuck! We're testing Ricky. We're testing on... Ricky on her. On our Why internet just knowledge, me? because I know it. Because we already know these words. Oh, we're fuck. we're hip. We're on we're online. I'm the youngest one here. You're chronically <laughs> offline, Erica. Technically true. <laughs> yeah, that is technically true. <laughs> to imply that you and I are vastly different ages is very funny. <laughs> Barely a, whole a month three and apart. And a half weeks. <laughs> yeah. I do want. I guess I do want to just go right at the top and really um, say, while I do call this like Gen Z Zoomer slang. Straight up, it's just all A A V E. Yeah, it's it, what's not A A V E was stolen from bodybuilding forums. <laughs> yeah, okay. With this particular batch, we'll start off easy. All right, Erica, what do you think cap means? That means lie. Sure. Okay. Right. What's no cap? It means you're not lying. You're telling okay. the truth. Okay. There is an actual like etymological uh, root for a lot of these. A lot of them, though, get, like, gentrified or, like, a lot of them get, like, backronyms where it's, like, white people, for whatever fucking reason, have to steal the AAVE and then insert, like, a, a like, meaning for it, yeah. which is how you get shit, like... Um, like, bay. Like, thought. Yeah, like, that hoe over there. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not actually what it means. Okay. Uh, and we'll have other words uh, earlier in, as well. But there is actually very interesting entomological roots about it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Another another easy one for you. Riz. Okay, what so that, do we think Riz is? That means like um not like your style, but that like like you've got Riz, like you're cool. Okay. Uh, it's more closely I would say game. Okay. Yeah. Like you've got game. Uh, yeah, can you talk to people who got Riz? Listen. Let me riz you up. I, feel... I rizzed you up. That's how I got you. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I don't know about that. I would say Fuck. like I'm on TikTok a lot. Yeah. So, are these actually going to be hard? Yes. This oh. is the easy levels. <laughs> oh, uh, no. This oh, might gosh. be one of the few that is, I have to assume, a, a white person made one. What do you think mother? When someone's mother, what do you think uh, that means? Like, like, mommy? Whoa, you don't know what mothering is? Uh, who's the whoa, mo- who's, this is crazy wait is it like in the actual definition of it like of like the, the mom of the friend group no oh. that's the most millennial version of it oh well <laughs> then i don't know wow that's crazy mother is like serving cunt it's like a better way of serving cunt of oh. saying serving cunt okay like uh mike myers dressed up in uh cat in the hat uh drag okay is mother. mother okay okay yeah. okay so is it like from lady gaga yeah, it's it's because uh, they call her mother m- like mother monster, don't, know, don't they? I, I don't know if it's from Lady Gaga, but Lady Gaga is, I'm pretty sure, mother. Yeah. 
I was also thinking, because that's where, kind of where I started. My thought process here was like, when yeah. they go like, mommy, question mark. I mean, I mean, wait, mommy? Yeah, it's a different one. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's about boobs. That one's more attraction. Uh, yeah. Mother is like a, it's like a sense. Like, okay, get it, girl. Sure. Oh, God, that was, don't <laughs> yeah. cut that. I'm pretty, this one. I'm pretty sure that comes from the, as, as you know, a lot of terms do as well. It comes from the, like, uh, like drag, black drag, drag community. You know community sure. And then that is it gets true. ripped. Ev- <laughs> it gets ripped by the gays and then it gets ripped into straight peoples. Yep. That's how it filters through all of us yeah. here. This one might be a hard one for you, but this one is, this one's hot on the presses right now. What do you think jelking is? Oh, yeah. Jelking? Yeah. Uh, I do this a lot. Do we do we think we should be jelk maxing? I've been jelk minning just to sort of bring my confidence down a peg. I okay. kind of need it. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> this one's there's no context clues that can help you. Here. No, this one I I don't know where this word came from, but jelking is the act of stretching your dick out so that it and you hope that'll stay longer. Yeah. in the long run, it's like if you keep making that face, it'll stay that way. But for your penis. Okay. Yeah, I believe that originated on 4chan. That sounds right. Is 4chan still a thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. This one... This one might be easy. What do you think a blinker is? Oh, wow. (laughs) I don't know. Christian messaged me earlier for slang, and I was like, this is a great word. I I never thought about this. A blinker. Yeah. Um... So is it, it's not, has, it, I'm assuming it has nothing to do with an automobile. Yeah. No. That, is a, it, that is a Midwest thing though. I, did, I just learned that, that calling a turn signal a blinker is like a Midwest thing. Really? Yeah. Huh. Now, they just in call Texas it a turn they call it cola. signal? Yeah. Coke. Shut Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Editor. In Texas they call it Coke. <laughs> okay. Fuck. A blinker. Is that somebody who like squints and blinks a lot? hmm Genuinely? No. Oh, Jesus. I mean, you might be doing that after this. It's when you rip a vape pen yeah. so long that it overheats and it blinks at you, saying it, it'll shut it off. So if you hit a blinker, you're just high off of a vape pen. You rip a blinker, it's you're it's ripping it for stupid. as long as your vape pen can yeah. handle. It's stupid. See, this is the thing. Is like, uh, like, I know you're on TikTok a lot. I'm on <laughs> clearly not the right side of TikTok for this. Well, this is especially something like gelking and like it's like boys that are like so like it'll be like when you hit a blinker and all of your passes in Madden are goaded, and I'm just watching like a dog shit compilation of Madden clips. I'm like, why is this on my for you page? That's how I know the word blinker. <laughs> I get I get ones that are like uh when you hit when you meet your friend Benjamin in the yeah. cooler and hit a blinker before yeah. your shift. Yeah, Benjamin's also yeah. Okay. I dropped. I I was gonna have Punchman on the list, but I dropped it on you like a week ago, and I thought you might still remember it. Right. I walked in. And she was already inside with our friends, <laughs> and I walked in like five minutes late. I was like, "Oh, sorry, I ran into my friend Benjamin out there." <laughs> Did I get it? You laugh like you got it. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I just do that for you. Like Thank last you. episode when I said <laughs> coughing baby in a hydrogen bomb. <laughs> You're like, I'll let you have that one. <laughs> <laughs> you get that. Again, and I'm like, I don't get it. You got Toby it. knew what I meant because she immediately asked for it. Well, Toby's Gen Z. Uh, this one you might get. This one might have made it to you. What do you think Gat is? Oh, I know this. Yeah. I've heard this one. I'm pretty sure it came up on the search bar. Like, what is Gat? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I like remember like reading it and feeling like that's a that's a way to spell that. And I don't remember what I'm just like. I feel like this one, you can just kind of think about it hard enough and f- think what it should mean. Yeah. What's that that rap song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a got. Or like, that's a gun. That's okay. not the same thing. Do you know what song I'm singing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's Kendrick cool. Lamar. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the insanely popular song. Okay, sure. Anyway, um, I've seen this one, and I will know it as soon as you say it. Yeah. But I don't know it off the top of my head. It's basically goddamn. Yeah. Nah. But it's when uh, somebody has a, a fatty on them. Yeah. Gotcha. Big old dump truck. They got a gap. And white people have backronymed it to mean, like, God, your ass thick or something like that. It's, you're just, yeah, you're not getting to the, it's so much that you can't even get to the damn part. You're just, God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you think an op is? Oh. Oh, like a spy. Like, <laughs> you're so close. <laughs> Josh, I'm not going to. 
play this game if you're gonna laugh at me. <laughs> oh no, b- people are loving this. I'm people. I <laughs> shut up. Well, isn't it like 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 you're a cop? Like okay, you're you're close. a narc. You're. A, a cop, I mean, these all cops do. Are op, yeah. These all do fall under. They op. are my op. Yeah. Your opposition. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it's like okay. someone's against you. It's you're yeah, just, just your haters. Your haters. Your yeah. op. Okay. Well, They're the op, I guess. Can't spell cop without op. All right, who's keeping score? Mark one down for Ricky. <laughs> I'll give you a half a point. All right. You did open with spy. <laughs> you, there's there's a small chance you might know what this one means. Mewing. Mm. I just heard this. I just watched a TikTok on this. <sighs> you might have seen a poster about it in our dentist's office. Really? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wild. No, no, I'm lost. You lost me with that. It's the act of putting your tongue in the specific place in your mouth to make your jawline better. Yeah. You're mewing. Ah, and I'm yes, not I even kidding. Our, our dentist office, like you sit there in the chair and you're waiting yeah. and they got a... You got it. They got you're a like, TV screen going back. and it's like, did you know the placement of your tongue can really affect your breathing? And it's like they list all these like benefits of it. And I was like, you're just, you're just not using the word mewing, but you're showing me mewing. Well, isn't... Now this is I could have gotten got on this. Okay, one. I'm so sorry. Yeah, the TikTok that I saw was a dude, like a substitute teacher, or a teacher or something. He was saying like the Looks kids smacking. nowadays are tell like you're talking to them and they go like this and then they like swipe their jaw. Yeah. And he was like, "What the fuck does that mean?" It's, yeah, it's look like, well, and it's mewing. Like yeah. I'm not gonna talk to you because I am mewing. Yeah. Because they're, what are they doing? Mewing. Look smaxing. Yeah, they're look smaxing. Look smaxing? Yeah. They're maxing their their look? Yeah. yeah. Now, now mewing got its main popularity on bodybuilding forums. Yeah. Because it's, it's another, pe- or incel, 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 that's another 4 chan bodybuilding. Uh, and okay. mewing gets its name, this is true, I had to Google it to make sure I didn't get God on TikTok, came from the name Dr. John Mew, the orthodontist who came up with the practice. Huh. Isn't that crazy? Just a guy named John Mew? <laughs> Um, we're gonna we're gonna skip this one because I don't even know it, and I know you have no idea. Skibbity. I don't. Is there? Have is you been saying that a bunch today? I've been singing it all day because yeah. I wrote it down. Like like randomly so today, it's just been like skibbity. You're so <laughs> phantom tax. Sk- I, I don't know. Do you know what is. skibbity is in reference to? I guess is the question. No. You don't know skibbity toilet. No. Okay. All right, okay. <laughs> That's completely honestly, it's a good thing you don't. Yeah, Skibbity doesn't mean anything. It's just like scat noises in a video series called Skibbity Toilet that the Gen Alpha is really into. Okay. I got three left here for you. What do you think gooning is? To goon. Like do stupid shit with your friends. Kind of. You're not far off. You're not far off. That's you- my guess, so Oh, uh, it's the act. I don't know why they've changed the name. It's basically the act of edging. It's when uh, you have your goon cave, and it's where you, you go and you jack off, but you never finish because, you know, you don't want to waste. Yeah. That's not doing stupid shit with your friends. It can be. You can goon with your friends. Yeah. That is a possibility. G is they, for you, goon. They used to call that a it. circle jerk. <laughs> well, no, but you don't come. Well, that's why they call it goony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is also dumb. And then here's two... That I would say are from, I guess I guess they still technically are from across the pond, but I got two fun ones. That, even Josh might not know. Uh, doubtful. <laughs> okay. This is UK slang, but really, once again, this is from all the research I've done of one single Google searches, this is just Jamaican slang that they okay. now say is UK slang. Madam, madam, mandem. Mandem? I don't know how they say it actually. Mandem. <laughs> then how Can am I supposed to it? know? M A N D E M. I don't know. I'm. I mean, if I'm saying it in my head in a Jamaican accent, is it similar? Say to, it out loud. Is it like say it out loud in a Jamaican accent. I don't think I can do it. Malignant. I don't think I can do a good Jamaican <laughs> accent. But it's is it similar to like yeah, where it's like man them titties are nice or something in that area. You're kind of close. You got no guess. Even? I've got no clue. It's just your. It's you and your boys. It's your. It's your group. It's, oh, okay. Like mandom, like yeah. your kingdom of men. Sure. I, I just no did idea, a white background. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then <laughs> this is this one is insane because I heard it on a podcast just this week, and now I've heard it like four times on TikTok. Oh, since. I'm gonna hear these constantly now. Sure. And this is <laughs> uh, Wagwan. Wagwan. Like a wigwam, like the the Native American style of nope. housing. Not even, not even close. That was my guess. Too. Comes from Jamaica. Is it oh, okay? So it's not, it's not the chief from from Simpsons. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, it's really, Wiggums, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 basically what's going on. A short, a short for what's up. Wigwam, what's going on? Okay. I mean, British slang is also just like. I know you're saying it was like Jamaican, but there's so much British slang where it's just there's such a there's such a barrier between American slang and British oh, like, slang. Like Cockney slang. Have you ever even heard of like their whole shit is like they'll take the original where they're saying like it'll be like what's up and then they'll rhyme it and now that rhyme is the slang for what's up. So it's like it won't even be the word what's up anymore. It'll be just like it'll be like seven up. Yeah. And so just like you're supposed to know, you're that, means to know that means what's up. Yeah. There's a whole scene in Austin Powers about it that you have never seen. Okay. Well, this was fun. Well, Erica, you failed the test. And yeah. I think this is yeah. a good thing. It means you're chronically offline. Or it means I'm old. It's probably that one. It could be old. I mean We're in different circles online, Erica. We really are. Yeah, they should my, show them the bubbles. My for you page is house plants and house restorations and gardens and Sometimes comedy. Fuck, so mother of you. <laughs> I don't really feel like, like in the literal sense of mother, yes. <laughs> I do get a lot of mom TikToks too. Oh, the, Jim Carrey's The Grinch is also mother. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. For that sure. makes a lot of sense. Especially his outfit for the Jubilee celebration. Yeah. Jubilation. Jubilation. Correct. Jubilation. You know, it, it was really hard to look up these words. I tried Google because I was like, I have like five, four or five of them. And then I'm just like, I guess I'll just fucking Google them. And it's like, teachers, here's slang words to look out for in 2023. Mm. And then it's like 2018 slang. I was like, no one's saying bay anymore. What the fuck is this? I looked up a video to try to like find more as well. And it was like a TikTok video. And it was just them asking their like Gen Alpha sister of the family, like, what's up? And they're like, is Chugi still in? And she's like, what the fuck is Chugi? Chugi was never in. It was like a 12 year old being like, what are you saying? <laughs> so I also watched a TikTok of a teacher and I think they were like 13, eighth, I think they were in eighth grade or something. And when she said, are we still using the, like she used a list of words and said, are we still using this? And if so, or if not, like what, are, what are we replacing it with? And they said for cap, like they don't say cap anymore. They say you're lying. Like the drawn out mm, okay. ing. Sure. I get I that. can't remember the rest of them. I could see that. I mean cap is cap is old. Yeah. Like I feel like cap started in like in the mainstream in like 2014, 2015. But it's like it's just a really good like word. It's you a, know? It holds up. It's a good one, yeah. Fills uh, a niche. Sure. Remember YOLO? Yeah, the millennials suck about it. We yeah. don't need to talk about Drake again. Did you guys like my Drake impression that I sent over to Snapchat today? Yeah, that was yes. really good, actually. It was I, very uncomfortable. I had, if you've seen the Drake video, which we talked about last week, I held a slinky up and <laughs> pretended to jack off the <laughs> slinky, and it was pretty close to it what the video really was. It really was. Like. It was really <laughs> fucking funny. It was really funny. I sent it to the group, and she's like, Who'd you send that to? I was like, our group chat. And she's like, no, that was for Christian and Louise only. I was like, Erica was the one who showed me the video. <laughs> I don't know if Louise got it. I don't know if he's seen the video. Oh, he's he had has, to have, He right? has too much respect for Drake to look that <laughs> That's up. That's true. <laughs> this is a listener submitted sound, which always prefaces the listener submitted story. This is from Nicole. Hey, judges. <laughs> Hey, Nicole. Look, this is me thinking oh, I was hi, doing a so sorry. really good impression of a shredder. <laughs> it's not, and I know that it's not a good one. I'm also a little drunk, so I may regret this, but who cares? This is future me's problem. Yo, if I right? attach this wrong, you can reach out to me, blah, blah, blah. Thanks, y'all. Femboy Hooters, a.k.a. Nicole. That's a really good impression. Uh, there it is. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> yeah, there is a video attached, and I was confused why she was just shredding a piece of paper. 
<laughs> it wasn't that bad. There's some noises the human mouth cannot replicate, okay. and I feel like you got pretty close. I mean, it was fun. I could probably get closer. I'll do it for next week. Okay, do give me right a now. week to. Pr- well, I would have to hear the shredder noise. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was she trying to say there? So, if you look into the actual thing, there they have a in they have a uh, inside joke on that show where whenever they like stumble over words, they say like that phrase mm. and so that wasn't her attempting a jamaican accent that was her doing a callback but it got clipped out of context and after uh. she says that she actually does a pretty good jamaican accent really okay uh but whatever that was was like yeah that's just an inside joke that we say on the show and like regular viewers knew that but nobody else would know that yeah this is sent in and they do not say if i can say their name say it say their name anyway uh Wait, this is a listener submitted story. Don't do it. Well, they're they actually don't even have a name attached. Their email is just like a phrase. Uh, so whatever. Uh, this my brother is the apple is the title of the email. Is the apple? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys. Hello. I recently Hello. started listening to your podcast after looking on your lurking on your TikTok for years. Just get a little freak. Well, hey, welcome. Creep. Glad you're here. I just listened to episode 10, started watching from the start, and I heard the story about the three apples a day guy. Mm. Remember that one? Nope. Yep. Uh, the guy got angry because he came home and there wasn't apples left because his like roommate ate them or something. He needs to, and eat, he three needs to eat three apples a day. That was his routine. Sure. How is he going to keep the doctor away? Yeah. It sounds strangely like something that happened to my older brother. Now, I know it can't actually be him because he didn't drive when this occurred. Uh, so my brother, 23 at the time of the story, growing up loved apples. Who doesn't? He ate at least one a day, which was, of course, fine. Healthy, even. But when he moved out for college, it got way worse. He was eating oh, no. apples to avoid having to cook some days. And he ate anywhere from three to five apples a day. I mean, I get it. Sometimes it was an apple in place of breakfast or lunch or sometimes even both. Some days he only ate one full meal a day and filled the rest of his meals with apples. He ended up in the hospital. Oh, uh, he had to apple get a... ciders. <laughs> apple ciders. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> he ended up in the hospital. He had to get a colonoscopy because he had eaten so much apple. Uh-huh. How much, much apple? apple? He ate so much apple that he literally couldn't defecate. His shit was solid from all of the fiber in his diet due to filling all his meals with apples instead of literally anything else. My college was only a few miles away from this. He was five years older, but took him off before college while I left at 18, so we were in college at the same time. Sure. So I went to the hospital to see him when our, when our family visited, and I remember him looking absolutely awful and saying to him, apple a day keeps the doctor away, three a day brings him to you. <laughs> <laughs> My mom asked me to leave the room. I'm less of a bitch to him these days. I don't think he eats apples very often anymore. I don't know if you'll read this since I'm responding to such an old episode, which is chill. Y'all just triggered that memory, and I so felt like I had to share. If you do read it, thanks. I really enjoy your podcast. Yeah, that was a good memory. I liked that. Thanks, Anonymous. Isn't that a fun little tiddly wink? What sucks is all he had to do was drink a thing of apple juice. Because, you know, if you drink enough apple juice, you get diarrhea. I want to balance the two out. What's up with that? I don't know Hang what's on. up with that. No, let's dwell on this for 20 minutes. What's well, up with that? Let me tell you. Oh, you know the reason? Yeah. Can you tell us? We yeah. got 20 minutes for you to for you to tell us. Do you want me to take the whole 20 minutes? No. Uh, 15? Well, right. We got to at least leave time for the outro. Yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. <laughs> five? No. This is me totally knowing for sure that this is the reason, but... When you're eating a solid apple, it's got the extra fiber, but when it's juice, it's concentrated and it's liquid. The fiber is solid food equals solid shit. Ah, okay. Liquid food equals yeah. liquid shit. That definitely makes sense. It's math. The math's math. And I'm guessing that I am not 100% sure. When you I'm juice an around. apple, the fiber doesn't make it through the like cheesecloth or whatever they okay. use to like, you know. Yeah. So cider doesn't give you diarrhea, but apple juice does. Maybe. <laughs> We'll have to get an Apple doctor on the show. Uh, If you know an Apple doctor, have him reach out to us. This is a Reddit story sent in from a listener. (laughs) Uh, They did not say if I can say their name, but they signed off as Viv. So we're going to say Viv. Hey, poo poo presidents. Found this one. It literally made me say, bitch, what the fuck? (laughs) 
Or bitch WTF, I guess. I know this one will trigger Rick, because what the heck? Shit, piss, and don't forget to tell you, bitch. Okay, bye, Viv. <laughs> I only picked this email because of the sign-off. I hope it's a good story. <laughs> Shit, piss, and what was it? Don't forget to tell your bitch. <laughs> ABP. Uh, this is from r slash am I the asshole. No. Am, am I the asshole for removing my son from a sleepover? Okay. Interesting. This is a crazy story. Hi, I'm 37 female, and I have a 10-year-old son. I'll call him Sam. My son was invited to a sleepover from one of his classmates. Let's call him Taylor. Because I didn't know his parents very well, we got together a few times so we could get to know each other. We eventually set up a date, and the other mother, which I'll call Lady from now on, insisted on hosting the event. I agreed and later dropped my son off, telling him to behave and all that jazz. Toward the end of the day, around 9-ish, I got a call from my son's phone. He has a basic flip phone for things like this. He was upset and wanted to come home. I asked him what was wrong, and he told me that lady wanted to put him in a diaper. What the fuck? I told him to put her on the phone, and she answered in a huff, telling me my son wasn't be- was being stubborn and very was being stubborn and misbehaving. I could hear my son in the background saying he just wanted to go home, so I told her I'll be there in a few minutes and hung up. When I got there, I was let in by her husband. He apologized for the trouble, and I went in to find my son. He was still upset when I found him sitting at their kitchen table along with Taylor. I asked him what was going on, and he explained to me that because Taylor wets his bed sometimes, Lady wanted him to wear a diaper as well. So Lady was forcing Sam to wear a diaper because Taylor was wearing one. Oh, no. I turned and looked at Lady and told her Sam doesn't wet the bed and didn't need to put anything on extra. She argued back that it wouldn't hurt him and it would make Taylor feel a lot better. That's not her problem or her son's problem. To be honest, I kind of understood where she's coming at and even considered asking Sam if he'd be willing to do this for his friend. That was until I saw the thing. I was expecting a pull-up, but this was what looked like a thick adult diaper meant to fit kids. Then the shocker came when my son told me she tried to make... She tried... This isn't written very well. She tried to make him take off his pants and lay on the floor so she could put it on him. I turned back to Lady and told how appropriate this all was and collected his things to leave. She got belligerent and said Sam didn't have anything she hasn't seen before. That's what? I do enjoy that in my brain the lore here is that the husband knows that his wife is being insane. And he's just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> when he opens he the door. He probably was, <laughs> honestly. Well, I guess we can finish the story. I have thoughts. So we left. Taylor, the poor boy, le- looked crestfallen. Not that I blame him at all, but my problem and the reason for this post is due to the fact that Lady put what happened on Facebook. Most Mm -hmm. of the commenters are on her side. So am I the asshole for taking my child home? No, No. not at all. Oh, no. I feel so bad for the son. For For Taylor? Taylor? Oh, my God. How embarrassing. What are the the chances that he's just not properly cared for and that's why he hasn't, like, mastered his bladder? Or there's trauma. Yeah, right. That's what I mean. Like, there's a lot of children that have, like... Just high anxiety. For I, I could see this mom causing high anxiety. Oh, for sure. But yeah. there's also kids that like are sexually abused and have like bedwetting regressions because they like can't handle the information and like the things that have happened to them. Yeah. Or I, maybe or? the nighttime routine is they give Sam a lot of apple juice, which Ooh. makes him poop, and yeah. a lot of apple cider, which makes you pee. Yeah. Interesting. I just feel bad because. Unless Taylor was the son with the diaper, unless Sam is a fucking chill ass dude for a ten year old, it's getting out that oh, Taylor yeah. wears diapers. Mm. And the fact she posted, on Facebook, posted on Facebook, it's out that your ten year old's wearing diapers and like that's a problem. Insane. It, that is this kid's social life is done. It's fucking. This crushed. kid's never having another. Sleepover. I feel so bad for him. Yep. And like I, that's where I kind of get where the mom the op is like coming from where it's like oh i i can kind of see where she's like coming from like to make try to make it less weird for taylor or like for both of them but it's like yeah now that this whole thing is exploded it's like it's getting out yeah and i feel so bad for that kid now yeah yeah she's yeah also can she just get like don't they just sell like plastic sheet covered things that yep, you could just sure do. do that instead of they sell those they sell pull-ups yeah. Which are a much less degrading way to do it. I'll be honest, I don't fully know the difference, but I do know pull ups are for big kids. Yeah. Well, pull ups are like underwear. Okay. They're they just li- it's literally like disposable underwear. Okay. Whereas, like a diaper, you have to 
like fasten. Uh, so, yeah. No, this whole thing is very uncomfy. And I feel like that, like as a mom, like if, if Olsen had an issue like that before a slumber party, I would either like, I would ask my kid like, okay, do you want to do, do this. this in private? Like, yeah. and keep it a secret and not let them know. Yeah. Or do you want me to like, do we would do, how do you want to handle this? You know, at, at 10 years old, they're old enough to like speak for themselves in yeah. that regard. I, maybe I'm jumping the shark here, but she's giving, first off, she's not giving mother. Uh, true. Very true. But she's, it's giving like almond mom, anti-vaxxer, yeah. like not a very, uh, not somebody who should be a mom. <laughs> I, think, I think you mean a crunchy mom, not an almond mom. Almond mom's a thing, but I was probably talking about crunchy mom. You're talking about crunchy mom. An almond mom is a mom that only eats almonds for I like thought, lunch okay. and barely eats but for that, dinner. I thought it also like then applies to the kids that they like give their kids eating disorders. That very well could be. Um, so yeah, that sucks. But can we hearken back to the shit piss and don't forget to tell you, bitch? I don't think we'll ever top that. No, no that's, that's really incredible. Good. Unless Viv sent in another freaking email that says, hi, judges. Hello. This story seems fake, but it's a wild one. Hope you enjoy. Pisses, tits, farts, and shits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love Viv. Pisses, tits, farts, and shits. Yeah. Love that for you, Viv. You're, you're Viv. so good at outros. It's wonderful. This yeah, is, you're doing the Lord's work here. This is from Ada, r slash Ada. And I'm still a Ada. That we decided on? Or Ida? I don't know. r slash Ida. A Ida? Ida. Mm. <laughs> we can't do Ida. <laughs> we no. gotta do Ida. <laughs> Uh, am I the asshole for breaking up with my girlfriend over her younger sister? <laughs> Wait, yeah. For her younger sister or over her younger sister? Over her younger sister. Okay. Ooh, what a, that is an, amb an ambiguous uh, yeah. word there. Yeah. There is going to be a trigger warning for a little bit of, a lot of bit of sexual harassment. Yeah. Okay. I need some outside perspective on this situation. I broke up, what, what? I will say, Viv, wonderful outros, great stories you're sending in. I don't know how the fuck you screenshotted these. You know what she did is she fucking window snipped it mm -hmm. and then put it into the email. And it makes it, it's formatted so poorly on my phone. <laughs> it's like the text is like it is not black. It's like gray. So it's like even oh. harder to read on the white. So I have to like zoom in and scroll. I'm glad Love I you, didn't. Viv. I'm just giving a little bit of constructive criticism. I need some outside perspective on this situation. I broke up with my girlfriend five days ago due to her sister's behavior. Me and my ex have been dating for the past two years. During this time, her sister had come on to me multiple times. Ugh. And I'm not completely sure about the amount of times, but it was almost every time I saw her. Ugh. I have told the sister many times to leave me alone and to stop her behavior as I don't do the whole cheating thing. But that did not seem to do anything. I had spoken to my ex about it multiple times. She even caught her sister in the act of trying to lock me in a room with herself. Nothing changed. What uh, the hell? I had spoken to their parents about it and that that behavior of the youngest daughter is unacceptable. And again, nothing happened. I'm not going to lie and say the sister was ugly. No, she's actually really beautiful, but I am 100% sure I have not led her on or anything. Even when I greeted her, I always gave her a side hug every single time. I've never been in a room alone with her or anything. I just kept my distance from her at all costs. I don't have her on Instagram, Facebook. I don't even have her cell phone number. We have never shared a text or a phone call. Her family even gave me a stupid nickname, the puppy, because I follow my girlfriend around everywhere when we are over at their house. The only reason I follow her so closely is because her sister's behavior seemed to stop when she is around. I told her that I will be that I would stop going over to her parents' house because that is where the problems are and I want no part of it. She didn't like that idea and sulked around the house for weeks because I didn't want to go with her. No point in time did I tell her she can't go. I just said I wasn't going to go with her, which is fair. Yeah. I relented five days ago and went over. We had too much to drink and slept over at the parents' house that night. That morning I woke up, and when I woke up, her sister was in bed with me, completely naked. What the fuck? I stormed out of the room, down to the kitchen, and told my girlfriend that we are done in front of her parents. She was silent for what seemed like minutes and started to break down, asking why. All I said was, go look in that room, and I stormed out of the house and got in my car. It took less than two minutes, then the call started to come in. Not just from her, but her parents as well. I didn't answer any of them. 
When I got home 40 minutes later, I had 108 missed calls from her and her parents, 36 messages, and two of those being from her parents. The messages from her parents were apologizing to me, saying that they thought I was joking about the sister every time I had brought it up, and they didn't believe me. All I got from my now ex was sorry and that she will handle it and it will never happen again. That I shouldn't leave. That we can work through this. I will get a counselor. That was me ad loving. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm just done. She's even gotten my family involved and our friend. 90% of everyone is on her side saying I'm overreacting and I'm the asshole for dumping her. You're not overreacting. <laughs> no. no. And people are saying that we can sort this out. I sent her a message that she has until this Sunday to get her things out of my house. I'm just done. Surprisingly, she has not sugarcoated anything and explained everything correctly to everyone, but I'm still in the wrong for leaving her somehow. Her parents and their messages are angry at me for hurting their daughter. My family is angry because they love her. Our friends are angry because I refuse to take her back and saying that I'm overreacting. Two years of this crap and I'm overreacting. Am I the asshole here? Oh my God. Wow. Whoops. It's crazy to hear that like, yeah, no, the ex is giving all of the details and everybody's still on their side that's insane first of all it's nobody's business why you break up with anybody Mm -hmm. or why you don't want to get back together with them if you're not feeling it you're not feeling it you're not obligated to anybody else outside of the relationship between the two of you to give explanation or to have those feelings like fuck anybody that's like you should get back to you're overreacting like you should get back no if i don't want to be with that person i'm not going to be with that person right and if you're saying that I, if you're going to force me to do it, my fe- even if I get back together, like my feelings aren't going to be there the whole time. I'm just going to be like, I don't want to be in this pressured. relationship. Yeah. You're just wasting time for both of you. Yeah. That's pretty, I mean, deny my uh, claims about being sexually harassed once. Shame on me. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, it's insane. Like, I, obviously, there comes in the uh, the like double standard of like men's yeah. like sexual assault being overlooked and yeah. stuff like that. Absolutely, where yeah, the whole family just not believing him. Like, oh, you're just imagining things when he's trying to say like, I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Please, 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 please. Yeah. I mean, the fact that it progressed to that point is just so upsetting. Yeah, I just I feel so bad for him. Yeah. I don't know. That girl needs help. It's crazy. Yeah. And uh, for families just like kind of uh, enabling it. enabling it by not calling her out for being yeah. a fucking weirdo. Yeah. I just don't know how you could bring it up to your like partner and they're just like, come on, it can't be that bad. And it's like, are you not paying attention? I feel like I would notice it if I was in the room with it happening. Yeah. It, I also wonder how the nickname the puppy came up. Like, what if it was the sister being like, oh, you're always around Jessica. Yeah. Maybe you should not follow her around. And then the parents were like, yeah, you are kind of like a puppy. You are always following around Jessica. What if he just hang out with the little sister more often? <laughs> yeah. No, that's weird. Even the side hug. It's like, I can understand that at first. Yeah. But the first few times that she's making you uncomfortable, stop hugging her. Be like, nope, keep my, I'm keeping my distance. I'm going to stand over here. Yeah. It's hard, though. That super sucks. No, it doesn't suck. This podcast? Yeah. It's so good we did it twice. That's right, focus. Another hour over on the Ooh, weekly bonus episode. Where it's hey, my favorite episodes that Christian does. It's a Christian episode. Be ready for goofs, gaffs, drama, and laughs. That's right. It doesn't quite have the same ring as don't forget to tell you, bitch. <laughs> what's what she saying? <laughs> Kisses, pisses, don't forget to tell... What'd she kisses, say? Kisses, kiss, tits, sharts... And farts. Kiss, tits, farts, and shits, or something like that. Uh, I feel like it was more simple than that. We're gonna have to reread it and do it again. Here's the thing. I thought this during the first reading, I was like, that was hilarious and great. I knew we weren't gonna... I knew it wasn't gonna stick. I knew it wasn't gonna stick in our head. Well, it is not. a bit of a mouthful, but it's so funny. It is funny. But Erica... Where can they follow us? Where can they find us on this fucking fucked up world called Earth? Okay. Um, well, we're in Illinois, but don't come find us. But you can find us on the internet. Allegedly. Allegedly. And that's anywhere that you're on the internet, we're probably on that too. Just search just search up. Did that sound like keyboard? That's pretty close. Yeah. 
Hey, Blue Sky doesn't need invitations anymore. Go follow us on fucking Blue Sky, guys. Wait, what's up? At Judgy's Pod. What's up with Blue Sky? They took off the invitation requirement. Oh, really? Yeah. So I what am just... I supposed to do with all my invitations? You haven't sent any out? I've, we had like 28 stocked I've been up. stocking them. <laughs> well, what the fuck? Did you want to be on Blue Sky? Well, if that's what the is kids are doing fucking nowadays. Using I... It? I assume the email is because they're like, fuck, no. I gotta we get, thought I gotta the stay exclusive relevant. thing was going to be cool, but it's not cool. They knocked me down to five invite codes. By me, I mean the judges pod. I don't sure. even have a Blue Sky account. We all we had enough for all of us to have one. Yeah, but hey, what the fuck? I've given out like three. <laughs> okay, anyway, it's judgespod at, at gmail.com or just at judgespod, J D G I E S pod. <laughs> right on time, bud. Uh, thanks. Hey, you're, been... you're editing this episode, right? No, I wish oh, I was because it would have been right on time. That was such a good delivery that. Yeah, that for sure. It really sucks. But anyway, the judges love you. Goodbye! Have a great week.